it's time for the Syntax Error Power Hour. So I just recorded this whole video and then realized I didn't actually record it and it took so fucking long because I kept fucking up in dumb ways. Uh, so I'm gonna try and speedrun redoing the video and hopefully it doesn't take me another like That's cry digital. 20 That's attempts or something digital. stupid because I just kept making dumb mistakes. All right, so first thing you wanna do, you want to go over here, you want to go into the toilet. You want to mask up straight away because you can do this heist and casing mode but there isn't really a benefit to it. It's easier to just mask up as soon as possible. Uh, and then go through here. And depending on where the civilian and guard are here, you can either go through the hallway directly or you can go through the side hallway here, or the side, these side rooms. Uh, you want to unlock this door and then close the window. The correct code will either be on the computer, it was, if it wasn't on the computer then it will be in the safe. Uh, once you have the code you can jump over this wall, make sure you crouch after jumping over the wall otherwise you'll probably be spotted. And then you want to enter the correct code which is 4379. And then you want to go through the door, sprint through and um, be very careful when you get to the bottom because there can be a guard standing right there staring through the staring at the doorway. Right now he's over there, he can also be standing in that corner. There's also a guard that patrols this area over here um, which is kind of annoying sometimes. The red key card can be in there. If it's not in there it can be over here uh, and it's normally in one of those two spots. There is a chance and I'm gonna say chance in quotation marks because I think it's a bug um, but there can be a chance for the keycards to be over here. I've only ever seen it spawn there like once though. So, so yeah, once you have the red keycard, you want to go all the way back over here again uh, and just be very careful. Uh, this civilian can be a bit of a pain, but you can just kind of leave him in the middle here. I say that, uh, a guard somehow found him on one of my previous recording attempts and I don't know how. Um, but yeah, normally that's fine uh and then right, you can here. just go over here uh you probably want to open all the vents that you see like that because you might need them later uh, and then want to pack the computer uh the server rooms that you need to access uh are random but it's always three of them and the emails that you need to read are always the same number of interactions i'll explain what i mean in a second once it finishes hacking but basically uh, so this is the first email, so it's the first interaction, so interaction 1, server room A, second interaction, server room D, third isn't the server room, and then fourth interaction, server room E. So it's always the first, second and fourth interaction of the drone rooms, and what were they? I wasn't paying attention. A, D, E, that's the same as the last recording attempt, okay. Um, I say recording attempts, I didn't actually record anything, <laughs> and I don't know how I managed that. Anyway, that point is, uh, this is how you access server room B. So this is server room B. You go through this vent over here and then uh, you can turn off the power so that you can actually leave the room. Uh, you don't actually need to uh, scan all of the servers so you get the old bag bonus. Uh, you only need to secure them. So if you want to go for old bags you don't need to uh, scan these ones if they're not correct. Uh, and then that was server room B. Over here is server room D. As soon as the scout wants to move. Thank you. So this is server room D over here. Watch out. Uh, now I need to actually find the correct servers. I'm just gonna unlock all the doors so that I don't confuse myself later if I try and go through them. So you want to grab uh, both servers in there unless you want to just grab one and hope you get lucky which probably isn't going to happen. Uh, there are two ways to get into server room C that aren't intended but you can do it. Uh, the first way is to grind over this rail like this. You want to hold right as you start going off the end, off the edge of the rail and then you'll land on the middle bit and then you can just jump over. I don't know why I'm grabbing them, I don't need this. Uh, but yeah that's one way to get into server room C. Uh, there's a, another way to get into server room C which involves jumping onto this server like this and then jumping onto this pallet jack and then climbing over the wall. Uh, as you can see it took me a couple of attempts to get that, it can be a bit tricky sometimes. Also these doors um, are random if they're locked or not, so the tape on these doors which prevents you from opening them, uh, that is completely random. Some Sometimes you get really good like RNG with which doors are locked, sometimes you get really bad RNG like if I want to go over there I need to go all the way around right now which is kind of annoying. Um, I guess I can also go through server room B because I've opened server room B which would make it a bit easier but 
Yes, not very good Dora RNG this time, so it's kind of sad, but oh well. Uh, although actually I will go all the way around because I want to show the control room. Um, what was that noise? And I want to show server room A and server room E. So over here, this is server room E. You just open that. And then to gain access to server room A, you have a few choices. You can open all the server rooms from here, by the way. This is how you open server room A. That unlocks the door. You can also drop down here to get into server room C if you don't want to do the weird thing. But there's a more fun route, which is to jump through here. Uh, that's a thing you can do for some reason. You can just jump through the glass. Uh, that will probably get patched. I'll be surprised if it doesn't get patched. Uh, but if you have a QR code, you can also unlock this door. And I'll show you where this door goes. Uh, this door goes into this room here. You can open that vent and then go into server room A that way. Uh, but you don't really need the QR code and the QR code's in just kind of a random spot and it's not really worth searching for the QR code most of the time because you can just unlock server room A or in this current version, jump through the window. So yeah, not really a whole lot of reason to actually do that um, right now anyway. So you can grab that and then serum air and then while i'm here i'm gonna go through server room e so i can unlock the doors before i drop off these servers so that i can just go back to server room e pretty quick um and then this vent here takes you to server room e wow look at that so yeah that's how you get into all the server rooms um just like that you can also unlock any of the rooms from up there as well, obviously. Um, so if you're struggling with like getting access to a certain server room, you can always just unlock it from up there. And then at this point, uh, you basically just have to wait for the server to finish uh, processing, which is kind of annoying. So I'm going to grab server room E and then... I will just be waiting, I guess, for the service to finish processing. Uh, like I said, you can uh, scan the rest of the servers as well if you really want to. There isn't much reason doing it. I think it gives you more money, but there isn't really a whole lot of benefit to actually doing it. And that's that. So now all I have to do is just wait for the service finished scripting and that is literally the heist pretty much. Uh, if you want to secure the rest of the bags you can. Um, you can follow kind of the same route that I'm about to take for the main server. It's also worth noting that the bonus servers take longer to pick up than the regular servers do. So if you don't process them you can pick them faster. Uh, but yeah. And that's the drone server done, so once that's done you can pick it up. It's worth noting that you can't sprint while holding the server, uh, so you want to be a bit more careful than normal while moving around with it. Uh, but yeah, so the simple way to get out of here is to simply go over here, go up these stairs, and then when you reach this point and open the start, this elevator will open. If you have a throwing knife, you can lure this guy. I fucked that up, but that's fine. Um, basically, that guy will walk out the elevator. You can throw a throwing knife over there to lure him um, so that you don't have to kill him. Yeah, hi. You can also, if you don't have a throwing knife or you just, I guess, kittens? don't want to learn so for some reason, to call and um, you, you can there. also just allow him to walk out of the elevator. If you let him walk out the elevator, he will take a path like this. He will walk over here and then he will walk over here and he'll stand at the end of this hallway staring at the wall. Uh, eventually he will turn around this way and walk back that way, so if, if you can just wait over here and just wait for him to turn around and sneak past uh, if you don't have any throwing knives to lure him with. You can also just sprint and get him to turn around that way, which I guess would work. Anyway, once you've got that you can just climb through this vent, go back through the toilet, and then you can open this door by unlocking it or you can just shoot the door open. If you do that you will go into search. Uh, it's also worth noting, by the way, if you go into search, guards will find the civilian hiding behind the server pretty fast. But there's also a bug in this heist at the minute where if you go into search, uh, guards will walk through uh, the windows, uh, break the windows, and then call the police on themselves. So if you go into search, you're basically guaranteed to go out anywhere at the minute until they fix it. Cool game. Um. Anyway. Civilian. 
once you get out here, you can just throw the servers into there, and then that's it. That's how it's done. It's so, so fucking yeah, it's so cold. Oh my god. It is actually recording, right? I'm still recording. Okay. You have no clue how long this took. This took so long to record. This seems like a simple video. It should have been. It's not a heist. I don't know why it took me so long. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm 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 done.